Welcome to State Television Campaign Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 14th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. The people of Artsakh should unite and present their voice and demand to the world, Ocampo. We replaced the word Karabakh with Artsakh, Mahir Hayatunyan. We believe that we will educate high-quality professional musicians. Program, I was born in Artsakh, for Artsakh talents is being launched. Sons of Western Armenia, Geburg Nalbandian. The cross, the mountain, the fate, Vahagan Garakashan. Sweet Home Adena documentary film screened at Ayantap Short Film Festival. On 9 September, the 14th session of the Governing Council was held in the Republic of Western Armenia. At the meeting, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, welcomed the attendees. Ms. President emphasized that the event related to the summer university lived up to their expectations. She emphasized that many people were informed about the existence of the Republic of Western Armenia, that there is a state that can protect the rights of Armenians, both in the United Nations and everywhere. Ms. President mentioned that Armenian representatives and representatives from France were also present at the event, who highly valued the work that President Armenia Gabrahamian and President Lydia Margosyan carried out at the UN. President Armenia Gabrahamian informed that during the event today established contact with the representatives of Western Armenian participating in the 12th service at the Holy Cross Church in Ahtamar, who conveyed their greetings to the participants and blessed the conference. On 9 September, on the initiative of Artak Begladian, the president of Artsakh Union, a meeting was held with Luis Moreno Campo, the first chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, as well as with a number of active representatives of the Artsakh Society. During the meeting, issues were discussed related to the protection of the rights of the people of Artsakh. Ocampo gave some advice on the issues raised and mentioned that until any state or government struggles for the rights of Armenians of Artsakh, the people of Artsakh should unite and present their voice and demand to the world, involving Armenians' diaspora as well, which has a great potential. Ocampo also referred to the UN Climate Change Conference to be held in Baku, COP29, and noted that every effort should be made to inform the participants of the event about the genocide elections carried out by the Aliyev regime in Artsakh. Aliyev makes every effort so that the topic of Artsakh is not touched at the event. He also presented the actions carried out so far in that direction. There are many works and few opportunities, but we have to struggle and believe that Armenians of Artsakh are not alone and it is necessary to take steps to increase the number of friends and interested parties. It's interesting how historical names are often turned into political tools contributing to the realization of maximum interest. Artsakh is not an exception in this context. The use of the name of this important area of culture and historical heritage for our people is often reshaped with the aim of redrawing reality and erasing history. As a docent of Shushi University of Technology, head of the Gachar Scientific Center, historian Maher Hayatunyan mentioned that the use of the term Karabakh has contributed to the information field of hybrid war carried out by the opponents for years. The wrong use of names aims not only to mislead the international community, but also to deny the Armenians belonging to the settlement, casting doubt on the historical roots. That is why we fundamentally replaced the word Karabakh with Artsakh, opposing this conquest policy and struggling against the forces that try to manipulate Armenian place names with impunity. This step is not only a defensive measure, but also a reminder that attempts to deny our history are condemned. Arvest 23 NGO announces the launch of the I Was Born in Artsakh program, which is intended for talented musicians from Artsakh under the age of 18. The offer of the idea is UNICEF Ambassador Conductor Sergei Sambadzian. The program aims to support young musicians through courses, master classes and concerts. Foreign language lessons, museum visits and invitations to concerts of the state, symphony, orchestra are also offered. Financial support, tools and necessary equipment are provided. We believe that we will educate high-quality professional musicians who writing in their biographies the phrase I was born in Artsakh will continue to live the Armenian gens of Artsakh all over the world. Now, one of the sons of Western Armenia is Georg Nalbandian, 
was born in Ayantap, Western Armenia, and lost his parents during the genocide against the Armenians. The talented musician was invited by the Armenian Apostolic Church to teach music in Kilis. During the genocide, he fled to Syria, then settled in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, Emperor Haile Selassie I ordered him to create a national anthem. Albanian was also the leader of the National Imperial Orchestra, which he gathered from the Armenian orphans who appeared in the Jerusalem orphanage after the genocide. The orchestra performed the anthem composed by Nalbandian for the first time. During his visit in Jerusalem, Selassie, being impressed by the children's abilities, convicted the Armenian Patriarchate to allow them to move to him. In Ethiopia, the little musicians were led by Nalbandian, who was later asked to write a national anthem which he called Taferi March, Ethiopia Hua, Ethiopia Be Happy. The Arapali Kokkuar, which means 40 children in Amharic, performed the anthem publicity for the first time under the leadership of Nalbandian on 2 November 1940 during the coronation of Silesi. Kevart Nalbandian wrote more than 50 Ethiopian songs, most of which were dedicated to the emperor and he was the founder of the Addis Ababa Theater. Today, when we celebrate the 85th anniversary of the founding of INCHAR, we cannot help but remember the heroic Battle of Mount Musa, when Armenians defended their land with the fate of the Vartanians. After the genocide against the Armenians, the people of Mount Musa went through many difficulties and settled in Lebanon. And in 1949, the first generation of INCHAR organized the life of the new community, educating the youth with national and spiritual values. The progress of the nation is built on the basis of culture, historical, memory, and patriotism. During 85 years, Ayn Char preserved its national values and gave patriotic generations. This year, of Ayn Char renew our strangling ability and call to face the future challenges with united strength. The Red Cross flag allowed the French ships to risk the resisting Armenians from Mount Musa. Historically, this flag had become the standard of the Crusaders since Godfrey of Boulogne crossed into Kilika in 1097 and symbolized Christianity ever since. This flag later became the official flag of Kilika. The large red cross in the middle representing the Armenian nation and the four smaller red crosses spread across the flag represent the other indigenous peoples of the region, the Assyrians, Chaldeans, Assyrians and Greeks, who followed the liberation of Kilika by the Eastern Legion before to become the Armenian Legion, as a result of which the independence of Kilika was proclaimed on 4 August 1920. As part of the Entap Short Film Festival, documentary film Sweet Home Adana by Nagihan Uskan, documentary film Sweet Home Adana, was screened, which tells about Islamized Armenians. The source Agung.net is based on the data of Artiger Czech Media. This film was shown for the first time at the festival organized by the cooperation of NAR Art Union and Dersim Noroj. After the screening, the director answered questions, stating that he learned about his Armenian roots at the age of 27 and how this story has become a common phenomenon in occupied Western Armenia, where millions of Islamized Armenians live. This was all for today. Goodbye.